the good lobby is a skill sharing advocacy community uh, that basically means volunteers uh, who are connected with NGOs, US organizations who have specific needs in pursuing their campaigns, uh, their policy changes, might be environmental protection, public health, social justice, and many other causes. The good lobby model can change politics by activating citizens in between elections. So very often we think that going casting the ballot votes is going to be enough and then we are going to be uh, done for a few years, but actually we all know that it's not correct. So the good lobby is a way to activating citizenship and reconnecting them with their elected in order to make sure they are going to be uh, giving them ideas and feedback when doing their job, meaning representing us. Certainly not. Citizen lobbyists are needed as a complementary force to represent the representative democracy. We need to make sure that citizens need politicians as much as politicians need citizens. But the latter is often forgotten. So once they are elected, representatives don't think about us anymore. But if the citizens are engaging, they are holding them accountable, giving them ideas, policy ideas, then you might have a much more interesting relationship between representative electoral democracy and participatory democracy. And this is the answer to the desire for direct democracy we don't believe in. It's, it's an illusion to think that citizens can take decisions for the interest of everyone. Well, the citizen lobbyists are people who have passion for something. They have a passion for changing something they feel that is wrong in society and they are ready to give time, resources and expertise. Inevitably, the people who are socioeconomically better situated have more time and more freedom to do so. So inevitably, there are some people who are few who might lead for the many. But at the same time, we live in a very wealthy society, very educated society, so the number of people who have these skills are the vast majority and these people have to be involved. lobby doesn't aim to represent citizens' preferences, but is a tool that enables citizens to speak to power. And when you speak to power, you need different skills. So in our projects, there is room also for people who do not necessarily know the political system to act. So if you start a campaign and we collect signatures, we have campaigners in the streets who look for them, or they run the communication, or they become ambassador by idea. So everybody can find a role. But inevitably, there is a strategic dimension that is for people who have a good understanding of the process because they were lucky enough to understand it. But there's nothing wrong, again, on this idea. Amnesty International, uh, the National Color People Associations that started the civic rights movement were driven by people who were well off. But they changed America, they changed society. And in Europe, we don't have the same tradition of using the elite to change the system for the benefit of the many. Certainly, today we have been sold the idea that we as individuals can look for solutions in one click. And the good lobby clearly challenges this by saying, well, probably you need to do a bit more than a click. And we try to get into the process once the click has been made. So we try to uh, allow people to feel and experience the process by themselves, uh, by activating their own ability to, to change. So it's far from being a one-click solution, but we also try to simplify and to say, well, citizens, there's so much more you can do. There are so many avenues of participation that you can try, which are little known, underused. Try them, because if you try them, we have a lot of stories to tell you where they work, where they made a difference. And it's a bit of a paradox that the more the avenues of participation are created, the less they are used by citizens to keep complaining to feel, well, we are not heard by our politicians. But citizens are not doing their homework, they are not doing their job, they are not citizens, they are just consumers. <laughs> 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 
citizen lobbying is not a claim to represent everyone, which is the feature which characterizes populism in Europe today, but rather doing the opposite, meaning allowing citizens to actually claim we are different and that's what we want. So it's about giving power to people to talk to their electives, not to replace them. And this is a key feature of citizen lobbying, being complementary rather than antagonizing the representative system.